All right. Well, Jelly is gone. Is he over here sucking in the nutrients out of the garden? He is. I cannot converse with you currently. I am absorbing nutrients. You were highly successful in replenishing the soil. Which is a little weird. Because I planted these things into the soil. I didn't add anything new. These things are growing, pulling nutrients themselves out of the soil. Which you would think would leave fewer nutrients for jelly to consume. I didn't add nutrients to the soil. I put in things that are going to take nutrients out of the soil. How does this science work in this place? Yeah, you know what? Oh, for shits and giggles. More giggles than shits. No Dennis? No Russell? Got a bad feeling about this. He's making baskets. Oh, how's Tung doing with Grob? I'm trying to stay close so I can step in. Uh, I think it's going okay. I'm going to, to try and invent a new knot. Sounds lovely. Ugh, it just won't do. S sorry Oh, not you, Bo. All I could think of is tonight. Hey, but there's other um exciting stuff to think about. We're going to have a grandkid. Huh, <laughs> don't remind me. Of course it's going to be so delightful to have another little one around. I'm going to make a basket for it to sleep in. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Let's both do that. Why you gotta steal his idea, Claire? Let Bo Bopec make what he wants. Stop lollygagging! I knew I wouldn't get any useful work out of you today. Uh... Ugh, what? I, I just wanted to, uh, spit it out. I'm going to fish. I, I mean, I'm going to start up a fishing business. Trade what we don't need with the mainland. Am I supposed to jump for joy? Um, after it's up and running, I won't be able to work for you anymore. Let me get this straight. Not only did you steal my girl and my baby, you're setting out to steal my business, too. No, no, no. Why should I trust you? Uh, but but I promise I won't it won't be able to make it to the mainland. Well, can't say I was looking forward to having you around my place anyhow. Right. Aha! Not about the boat. Um, about trusting me. I get it. But I want us to get along. And to do that, I have to move on and become my own man. Oh no, playing the reasonable card, are you? I can barely look at you. You can wish it better all you like. But you took a path and you need to deal with the consequences. I'm going to do my best for both Aelin and the Baron. But I don't owe you anything. I'll leave you alone. Spicy! Ah, now, sea crumb! Okay. Where did Tongue go? These damn chickens. Okay. I was expecting someone to be out here. I don't know why! They never are!
So, who are we hitting up first? How about Spike? It's the first one we come across anyway. Let's see how nervous he is. So, you'll be by the lighthouse. That substantially decreases your likelihood of falling in the sea. Have we dealt with all the worst case scenarios? Let's move on to the stuff that's definitely going to happen. Like, how it starts. What do you mean? How are you going to greet her? You've just been friends before now. This date is the beginning of renegotiating that. Oh, heck. It's okay. Just talk me through it. Should I kiss her on the cheek? If you're ever unsure, ask. Okay, so I show up. Yeah. But what if I'm the first one there? Then you wait for her? Should I have flowers? Sounds nice. What if I take the wrong flowers? Okay, let's... Maybe let's save the flowers for a second date. I'm a wreck, kitten. It'll be okay. Poor guy. She's still not down there. Kai! I feel as though I've been neglecting you. Can I get you something to eat? Yeah, sure. Oh, wonderful. Um, so, I've got roasted Wubjin root and sweet kepa berry sauce for the veggie option. That's served with uh, talc egg noodles. Then there's smoky biffalo bacon and steamed buns with optional hot sauce. Any of that tickle your fancy? Uh, veggie? Root noodles, please! Good choice. Break it down! I am skeptical about her cooking powers. She grabs the same bottle every time she goes to cook something. Thank you. Oh, she just blinked in and out of existence there. Uh, okay, great. I've got sauce. Did you see tongue and grub, by the way? I did. Oh goodness, I've been so worried. I've been worrying so. The first time he's alone with Robert since everything. I've been trying to listen out for raised voices, but did they seem okay? A little awkward, but they seem to be working through it. Poor Tongue, the boy's never been good at conf confrontation. Oh, did you hear about Claire and Spike? They're going down a date tonight. Up by the lighthouse, how romantic. She's been walking on air all day. Maybe I could prepare them a picnic? Yeah, sure. That's a lovely thought. She deserves it. Aww. Claire's always been a quiet child. Mine? She didn't used to be. Claire's always been a quiet child. She didn't used to be. When your mama was here, she was so happy and bubbly. Then Gaia was whisked away. It was a hard time. You think I upset her? Oh no, you've been a delight, I'm sure. This tongue business is weighing on her. Not just recent developments. She's been worrying for a while that he might want to take to sea. Like her ex. As dad, I don't like to speak speak ill of people, but he was a worthless man. <laughs> Good riddance. He sailed away and left her holding the baby. If I'm honest, Tongue was a remarkably large child. You couldn't really hold him. Why'd he leave? It was just after Tongue had uh, a big tantrum. He had trouble with his temper back then. I think Tongue sometimes blames himself. As if it's his fault his father was a coward. Oh dear, it seemed to have gotten a little worked up. You just want the best for them, don't you? 
Yeah. You do. Uh oh. Each one with a different paint job. Sal, well, why are you the only one allowed to come up with ideas? Nothing should stand in the way of progress and profits. Sal! What? We're the only ones around who need a wheelbarrow and we got one. It, it, it was a nice try though, buddy. <laughs> that was great. Poor Sal! Everyone's got shitty ideas, but they're only shitting on his. Grab that plant real quick. Bear weed seed. I don't need it, but whatever. So I was wondering if you had any entry level books. Kind of what to expect when you're expecting type of thing. Well, interesting question. Typically, that kind of information has been held within the an oral tradition in the Mutazione. Yeah, with with Mori. But I feel like Q&A with Grandma might not be the best way for Tongue to learn. I see. Well, in any case, we should find someone for her to train up. Oh, not me. It is something you might be interested in. Seems like you've had a head start on a lot of it. I hadn't thought about it, but maybe. Yeah, maybe. Oh, thanks for your last recommendation, by the way. How'd you find it? I think I like it, even if I have to read every sentence like five times. I do like that kind of reading. Maybe fiction, though, next? It's a bit exhausting, this existence stuff. I have just a thing. Yeah? Things Fall Apart, an exquisite piece of writing by a young man called Chinua Chibe. Well, what's it about? Legacy, cultural conflict, <coughs> colonialism. I've been thinking more about the story of our own community. Oh. Yeah, and, well, it was before your time, but when we were visited by the scientists, we made friends, of course, but they also took from us in a manner that seemed to, um, Proceed asking. Community is relatively new, but culturally distinct. We should talk more about who we are, I think. Will this make more sense when I've read the book? <laughs> Perhaps. I would value someone to talk uh, about it with, at least. And after that, maybe a uh, comedy? Of course! Some Austin! Uh, where do I have to go? Time to tell Grandpa I got the Evanescence. Right. So, we'll go visit the temple, and then we will go to Grandpa. I'm not expecting to be at the temple, but I have had two new gardens since something happened at the temple, so we'll see. And there's only one left. One left. I think they change when I complete a garden. Isn't there... Shouldn't there be another one? Whatever. One more left! Probably there. Or maybe in some super secret place like where Fung is. I can see that. If I get to meet... Fung, and then I grow a garden around him to help him? I don't know. It? I don't know what Fung identifies as. If anything. It's a fungus. I should go see the dots as well? Maybe? Well, Grandpa's up there. Okay. I want to see the dots real quick. Also, Dennis, you cannot disturb me this time. Everything is settled down in the treetop. 
Papu is recovering. I am too content. No, content is insufficient. I feel exhilarated. Aww. Dennis is feeling good. Do I even need to grab all these? I'm not so sure I do. Alright, I'm not gonna... I don't need them. I don't think, anyways. Nothing? Whatever, Dots. Wow, that was six... Six spores! Alright, Grandpa. Wait a minute. No time thing. So Grandpa's not the end. Who will be? Hey, I got that, um, mushroom thingy we needed. Oh, wonderful. You hold on to it for just a little while longer. I have one last task for you. You need a totem. Uh, what now? Your totem will be what grounds you during the journey. That is very Inception-like. It connects you to the physical world like an anchor. Uh, I don't need to grow it, do I? Here, take this. A lizard skull! Wait a minute. If a totem is supposed to be unique to us, why am I taking yours? Oh, wait. It's not Inception. Uh, is this my totem? It is beyond even my long-earned expertise to select a totem. You must find the Dot Shaman. Give her this gift. Although, perhaps spare her your jokes. They may not translate. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to snap at ya. I had some words with Yoki earlier, and that put me in a bad mood. I'm glad of your spirit and your jokes. I didn't tell him a joke, though, did I? I thought I'd, I didn't select joke. That was a little awkward. Alright, so we give the skull to the shaman, and the shaman will tell us how to get a totem, or give us a totem, or something. There it is. Technic Nidu! Oh, up on the top of the branches? Thank you. Technic Nidu! Okay. Here we go, guys. You're the shaman, right? Well, he's got six legs! I wonder if the older you get, the more legs you have. Or maybe the more important you are. You're the shaman, right? Nit pick do. Nup nit nup. Tick tick. Yeah, yeah, totally. Nit do. Nit do! Totem! Nit tick de nup nup. That's assault! What was that? Oh, what was that? Did you see? That was Karoo. Uh, do tick nit tup do? Uh, thank you. Knit, knit, nope. Careful. 